Do you want some quality practice questions for the DP700 exam for free? Well, I got good news for you since I created a website that has over 100 practice questions for the DP700 exam. These questions can be found by going to the 30ace.com, and that link can be also found in the description. In this video I'll talk more about this website and how it can help you to get that badge, and what are my plans going forward with this service. Stay tuned! Welcome to the video, my name is Alexi and on this channel I cover Must Fabric and Azure related topics. In this video I want to talk about the website that I created with few friends that can really help you to prepare for Microsoft certification exams. I have noticed that many people are looking for quality third party questions for certification exams, and those kind of questions can be really hard to find, especially for free. Also, at the time of recording this, Microsoft haven't yet released their set of practice questions for the DP700 exam. For these reasons I decided to team up with a few of my friends and create a website where you can practice for different Microsoft certification exams. Currently our team consists of three people, me included. The other two are friends of mine and the other one is Max Fabric and Azure Architect like I am. And with him we have been mainly responsible for the content and the questions on the website. The third guy in our team is a full stack web developer and has been mainly responsible for creating the actual website. But now let's go and check out how does the website look. Here we have the front page of the 30 Ace website, and on this front page we can find some information what is this site all about, and here also we have a small advertisement for my YouTube channel. Then we can click one of these links here to get started with the actual exam practice. And if we for example click this get started here, this will take us to this Microsoft certification exam practice selection page. And here we can actually choose to which certification exam we want to practice. And you can see that we have now only the DP700 available here, but we have also DP600 and DP900 coming in soon. And next let's open this DP700 and this will actually take us to this module selection page. And here we have these five modules. And if you've already gone through the official learning path for the DP700 exam, you know that these are exactly the same modules that we have in that learning path. And each of these modules here contain multiple different questions related to that one module. And we can open up one of these modules to see how does those practice exam questions look. Let's for example open this third module here and let's click start. And here we have for example the question, what is the primary function of Microsoft Fabric event streams? And then we would have to pick the correct answer from this list. And I would say that the correct answer to this question is the third one here, and I would click that. And then this will reveal was that answer correct or not. And then we also get this explanation why this specific answer was correct, and also linked to the documentation. And this link will take us to the documentation where the answer to that specific question can be found. Found. And we can close that. And then we can proceed to the next question. And here we have the next question. What is required to create event house in Marks Fabric? And here we have some answers. Now I'm actually going to click a wrong answer so you can see what happens if you click the wrong answer. And I'm going to click this first one that is incorrect. And we can see that the UI shows that I chose this answer, but this was actually correct. And here we have the explanation for that correct answer and also the link to the documentation where that correct answer can be found. And we are also able to go back to that previous question if we want by using this, but we cannot change our answer. So this top bar here will also track how many questions we answered correctly in this module. And next I will click through all of the questions that we have here so we can get to the end screen of this module. So I will do that now. And now we have the final question here and I have to choose the answer for this one. I'm just going to randomly pick out one answer here and we can see that it was incorrect. And here we can click this finish button and this will actually show us this end screen where we can see how many questions we got correct out of this 20 question total that we had in this quiz. And then we can retrieve this quiz or go back to the module selection here and choose a different module if we want to practice a different module this time. Also another cool thing about this site is that we have also made sure that this works well on mobile so that you can use this website on your phone or tablet 
when you are on the go and you don't have access to your computer. The mobile experience should be on par with the desktop experience and have all the same features there. So you can choose the experience you want to use and which one suits you the best. Now I really want to hear your feedback about the 30 website and what kind of features you would like to see us implement there next. For example, would you like to have a feature to simulate a certification exam based on our question pool or what else would be helpful for your preparation? You can use the comment section of this video and let us know. Also, if you'd like to support my YouTube channel and help us cover the costs of hosting and running the 30 Ace website, you can send a small donation by using the Buy Me A Coffee link that can be found in the description. Now, I thank you for watching and see you in the next video.